I want to address something that I've seen all over the internet and even on our chat. For people that have seen some criticism of AEW from myself and and David said, oh, they finally figured it out. Oh, boy. Yeah, we'll talk about this after the break. Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer oh, Live. He adjusted I his adjusted chair. on both sides. Oh, man, for everybody listening on radio, settle in. I'll make it quick. Here's the thing. So the last several weeks, we've been very critical of a lot of things that have been going on in AEW. And, you know, the shows get clipped up. They get put on YouTube. You know, I'm not in charge of the clips. Brian Rose does a great job, as do others. But, you know, people put up clips that will get people talking. And for, like, three straight days or something, all of the clips were AW criticisms. And then, like, all over the Internet, I see this, oh, my God, they finally turned heel on Tony oh, Brian's Khan. Brian's turned grifter, huh? The the uh, checks, are they're no longer getting their checks. Oh, well, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so have been talking about this for three years. You finally figured it out? That was the one that really was like, okay, listen. My job is to tell you what's going on to the best of my ability and analyze it in as fair a manner as I can, okay? Now, a lot of you don't even know what fair even means anymore, okay? Fair means fair. To a lot of people nowadays on the internet, fair means what I like. So if I like WWE, if you're critical of WWE, even if it's actually the dictionary version of fair, if you like WWE and I'm critical, I'm not fair. And if you don't like AEW and I praise it, it's not fair. Well, fair is fair. Do I need to look up fair in the dictionary? Apparently, for some people, so, you do your chat, it seems to think My so. job is to tell you what's going on, analyze it, and to try to be fair. And I try damn hard to be fair, okay? Now, a lot there are other people where they aren't trying to be fair... They're just trying to build their audience. And an easy way to build your audience over the last four or five years was to tell everyone how AEW sucked. It was all horrible, et cetera, et cetera. It's dying. Dying. Okay. Now, here's the thing, okay? When AEW was doing five, six, seven thousand per television taping, when AEW's 18 to 49 was creeping up there towards Raw, because you remember 2019, 2020, like Raw was cratering in, in 18 to 49. Double digit declines year over year. And they were going like this, and AEW was going like this. And of course, people bring up a tweet I had like years ago where I said next week could be a massacre. They think that's really funny nowadays because they're stupid. Because, in fact, there was a period when I did that tweet where WWE was going like this in 18 to 49 and AEW was going like this, and they were very close to intersecting. And then you know what happened? It all turned around. Okay? But at the time, that was true. There potentially could have been a massacre the following week. There wasn't, but these lines nearly intersected. Now... When AW is doing 80,000 people at Wembley and your argument is that it all sucks, that's not fair. You've got an agenda, okay? Now, when AW sold out double or nothing several years straight quickly, and this year they're at 6,000 people, well... If I'm critical of what's going on, that is fair, okay? So there's a big difference. This is not, oh, well, you know, it's been terrible for five years. You just figured it out. Actually, it wasn't terrible. For, for several years, they were doing great. 
and they were serving their audience, and they were doing far better business than they had any right to do because their fan base liked, watched, purchased, and made the company a far bigger success than anything that virtually anybody else ever did. Okay? But you know what? Now things have changed. I am not saying this thing is going out of business. But now, you know, it's one thing when, you know, it's a great example. It's like when people are, are, you know, they, oh, WWE, it's exactly the same as it used to be. Actually, it's not. It's not. They are better serving their audience right now. Their audience is more invested in the storylines. They're more invested in the characters. They're more willing to watch, and they're more willing to spend money than they have been in 25 years. So when you critique what WWE is doing, and you say it sucks, and you say it's no better than it's ever been, that is unfair and factually incorrect. They are doing significantly better. And right now, AEW is doing worse. So what are the problems with AEW? Why is AEW doing worse than it was the last few years? What has changed? Well, I'm trying to find out what has changed. I'm trying to look at the booking of the shows, et cetera, et cetera. And the thing is, when you're hot, like WWE is hot, you can make a lot of mistakes and it's okay. It doesn't matter. People accept it. And it was like that for AEW for a long time. And also, the booking was way better. The booking was way better. There has been a shift over the last, I don't know, year and a half or so, where Tony's long-term vision, he doesn't do it anymore. He books week to week. And I think it has affected the product. And I find it really irritating when people say, it's exactly the same as it's always been, but now you've figured out everything wrong with it. That's not the case. What's happened is things are different now. The booking is not as good. The fans are not as invested. The fans do not see the top stars the way they saw the top stars three, four years ago. There are a lot of very big changes that have occurred that have resulted in the company not doing the business it used to do, not having the interest level that it used to have, losing its 18 to 34 audience, although I think a lot of that actually is the NHL and NBA. We'll find out here soon. But... It's irritating. So anyway, I wanted to get that out. This idea that, like, it's exactly the same as it's always been. It's, it's You know, it's exactly the same as people go, WWE is exactly the same as it was when Vince was around. Like, people actually say this with a straight face. It's not. And to say that AEW is exactly the same now as it was in 2021, 2022, it's not. And these are just facts. If you want to pretend that everything is the same, you're welcome to. But things change all the time. In wrestling, in the world, you follow the stock market, don't. But anyway, that's that. Should I talk about Dynamite? Everything you Might want to add? Well. Should I go 15 minutes and ask your thoughts like Dave did to me last night? I, uh, You know, I was going to pull a rib on you about that, but I, I'm not now. You just go ahead on to Dynamite. There's a lot of stupid people out there, and the fact of the matter is people selectively listen. They hear us say something, or me, or you say something, and... Oh, they're so negative. All, all they do is whine about this or whine about that. It's like you talk about good things with AEW all the time. Talk about things that we like all the time, whether it be AEW or WWE. But people only hear what they want to hear. And I never had to deal with toxic fan bases before because I'm not heavily into them. You know, I love sports, but I love them to a point where I'm not listening to daytime radio because it turned into just people bitching and hot takes and all that sort of stuff and that's what everything has been reduced to now where people hear little clips of things there's no context for a lot of times people hearing something it's pulled out of context put up there and then everybody reacts to the reaction that it gets and that feeds upon itself so it's ridiculous. It's one of the reasons that I've kind of gotten off social media. I've gotten out of some of the forums that I've been in, and I was never in a whole lot of them anyway, because it's not worth the battle. You can have the best faith argument in the world, lay everything out for everyone. 
not both sides it, but give honest opinions about what you like, what you don't like, what works, what doesn't work, something pulled from history that gives you an example. And if they don't want to hear it, if people don't want to hear it, then they just don't want to hear it. And they're going to continue to run around like donkeys with their megaphones on social media, just screaming into a circle. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.